Hey everyone, Cody here from MTG Nights. Today we're going to be opening some random booster packs that we got from our local game store. Um, there's a couple reasons why we got these ones. So we've got uh, Ravnica Allegiance and then Rav Guilds of Ravnica. We've got a Corset 2020 and a couple of Ixalons. The Ixalon my wife already cracked open, but we'll still take a look at the cards inside. Uh, the reason we got these specific packs, I mean, the Corset 2020 is I think it's probably pretty solid, um, and obviously that's kind of like the new standard now because it's you know, 2019, so, um, but the Ixalan and the Ravnica, we're actually trying to get, you know, some, some decent lands like the Shocklands or uh, the Checklands or whatever we can get that are better than the basic land, and then, um, you know, I just heard that Ravnica was a decent series. Now what I really want to get is the Zendikar cards, but the game store didn't have any Zendikar at all. Um, I hear that it's just because Zendikar had so many good cards come out of it that it's, it's harder to get those, but we will get those, I promise. That's that's my goal, is the, the Zendikar, so get some, some Zendikar cards. What was that? What was that noise? Um, and then, I don't know if you can see it, I also got four Dust Stalker. Um, I'll put the card on the screen, but Dust Stalker is a uh, El Jazi 5-3 creature with haste, devoid, so it has no colors. And uh, at the beginning of each end step, if I control no other colorless creatures, I have to return it to my owner, to my hand or owner's hand. Uh, and the reason I have that is because I want to build an Eldrazi deck. Another reason why I want to get the Eldrazi versus Zendikar dual decks, so that you know we have that green deck. We want we'll duel those. Uh, but I want to build an Eldrazi deck and it, it's just a good place to start. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, crack some of these boosters over, take a look at the cards inside and see if there's any usable ones in there. So let's head over. All right, so just so you can see the Dust Docker, that is it. And I got four of those. They're like a quarter a piece, so it's, it's a pretty good rare for a quarter. Um, it's, and it just looks cool, right? <sighs> okay. So we'll crack open the, the case that my wife had opened. I mean, she put these all out of order, so now they're not in the right order, but it is what it is. So sw Swamp, here is the legendary for it. Uh, we've got uh, Shaper Sanctuary. Whenever a creature you control becomes target of spell or ability and opponent controls, you may draw a card. I guess it's okay. I don't, I don't see that as an ideal card. Uh, Charter Course, you get to draw two cards, then discard unless you attack this turn. Makeshift munitions, uh, it's uncommon. You pay one, sacrifice ar artifact or creature, you deal one damage to target creature or player. I feel like that's too high cost for that card. Uh, Sleek Schooner, it's a four three artifact vehicle. You crew one, so not bad. Um, the crew one is, is pretty good for this uh, high of a damage creature. Uh, so, so not bad, we can see why it's uncommon. Uh, and unfriendly Fire deals four damage to target creature or player. That's great and everything, but that cost is pretty high for the four damage. So I guess the fact that you get to choose the target is pretty good. I would understand it was a four cost, but for five, I feel it's a little too high. Uh, Gilded Sentinel, it's just a 3-3 three, three Golem. Uh, that costs four. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is what it is. Grazing Whiptail, 3-4 uh, with Reach, and it costs 4 to play. Mm, I mean, it's got Reach, so I guess that's something early game, but other than that, nothing too exciting there. Demystify, Destroy Target Enchantment for 1, not bad. Depends on the decks you're playing against. Spike-Tailed Ceratops, uh, cost 5, 4-4, four, four, and it can block an additional creature uh, each combat. Not bad. Um... That ability is pretty decent uh, for a 4-4. I don't know if I'd pay 5 for it, but not bad. Uh, Storm Sculptor cannot be blocked. That's pretty cool. 3-2, when it enters the battlefield, you return a creature you control to its owner hand. Not so great, because you have to pay that. Um, if you have no other creatures that you own from your opponent, you're paying that on yourself, so that that's, uh, it's not always ideal. Uh, dual shot cost one deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures. That's not that's not bad. Two damage, one per. Um, it's good for probably finishing off a couple of creatures or maybe some tokens. So I could see the I could see the use in that. 
Dire Fleet Hoarder, uh, when it dies, create a colorless treasure artifact with tap and sacrifice to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Uh, two one for two. Not bad. Uh, I could see the, the use in that too. All right. Sky Blade of the Legion. It is a 1-3 with flying. Cost two. Not a bad blocker early game. Fathom Fleet Firebrand. We've got uh, cost two. It's 2-2. Two, two. The effect, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. I mean, not bad if you're kind of looking for something to just, you know, attack your opponent if they have nothing. Not bad. Um, and then a dinosaur token creature token. <laughs> token creature token token. All right, cool. Now, let's go ahead and pop open this Ixalan pack, and let's see if we get anything decent. So it seems like there's a lot of dinosaurs and stuff in there. I love that sound, that cracking, like, plastic sound. It's fascinating. All right, so it's upside down. All right, so we'll start with the commons. So March of the Drown, uh, Black Sorcery, choose one. Return target creature from your graveyard to your hand, or return two target pirate cards from the graveyard to the hand. Not bad for one. Uh, I can see that. I can see that coming in handy. Ryle costs one. Deals one damage to target creature you control. Oh, okay. Uh, target creature gains... Oh, that creature gains trample until end of turn, and you draw one. So, not bad. I suppose if they um, didn't have a blocker, and you just did one damage to yourself, you could then theoretically get trample and trample over them if they did have a blocker, but you weren't going to die from it. And you get to draw a card. So, I can see situationally it's, it's not bad. Uh, Shining Aerosaur, 3-4 with flying, cost 5. Eh, I mean, okay. Maybe getting a dinosaur deck. Uh, another Human Pirate, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, cost 4, 3-3. Three, three. When it enters, you destroy target creature and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. Now that I can see coming in use. Uh, Siren Lookout, it costs 3, it's a 1-2, it's a flying and when it enters the battlefield, it explores. So you get to reveal the top card of your library. You can put it in your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one counter on this creature. Then put the card back or put it into your graveyard. Interesting. Oh, that, that's kind of cool. Uh, Jade Guardian. So it is a 2-2, two -two, costs four, has hexproof. And when it enters, you get a plus one counter on a target merfolk you control. So in a merfolk deck, I can definitely see the uh, the use in that. Duress. Oh, I haven't seen... This must be new artwork. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. For one cost, that's great. Because if you really think about it, you get to see... Sorry if, if I haven't been holding the cards up. I, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> uh, but you get to see their, their hand. So not only are you dis discarding a card, but you get to see their hand. So the... The kind of the subtle effect of that is very, very good. Um, Pious Interdiction. So it's an enchant aura, cost four. When you enchant a creature, and uh, when this enters the battlefield, you gain two life. Enchanted creature can attack or block. Good for some kind of a white pacify deck. I can see that. Uh, crushing Canopy. Instant. Choose one. Destroy target creature with flying or destroy target enchantment. That's pretty good. You get the choice. Or at least an illusion of choice. Um, another unfriendly fire. We already covered that. Not a fan. Uh, Stormfleet Aerialist. He's a two cost, one two flying, and he has raid. So when he enters the battlefield with a plus one counter on it, if you attacked with a creature on this turn. So that's kind of cool. Can kind of ramp him up a little bit. Uh, Atsican Archer. Cost three, one four. He's got reach. That's kind of cool. And when it enters the battlefield, you may have it fight another target creature. So, I mean, it's good because you can have a fight. It's got a decent defense. So, even if it fought and lost, um, you know, maybe it won't lose if it's early game. So, I mean, that's cool. But the, the fact that it's got reach is kind of nice. So, all right. Another uncommon, Dead Eye Plunderers. So, Dead Eye Plunderers gets plus one for each artifact you control. That's kind of nice, especially if you've got, like, a color, colorless or artifact base deck. Um, and then you can pay four and create a colorless treasure artifact token. Oh, where you get the mana. So three, three for five. It's good if you have those artifacts out. So I will say that. All right. Revel in Riches. So what is this? This is a five cost enchantment, black. 
Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token, you know, where you can sacrifice it for the one mana of any color. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. Wow, that's kind of interesting in the normal planes. We got a pirate. Arr. All right, so, I mean, that that's kind of an interesting card. I mean, I, I always get a kick out of these cards that uh, that give you a wing condition like that. So, um, so I mean, that, that'd be kind of a fun deck, I think, to make is a, a pirate deck because, you know, treasure. All right, so let's go ahead and crack open this Guild of Ravnica and take a look in there and see what we got. If I can just open it, because I am a competent adult, I promise. I promise, guys. My mom even said so. All right, so let's start. Fearless Halberdier. 3-2, that costs 3. Nothing exciting there. Sworn Companions cost three. Create two one one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. I mean, could come in a pinch, I suppose. Maximize altitude. Sorcery costs one. Target creature gets plus one and gains flying until end of turn. Jumpstart. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile. Mm. I mean, that's cool. I like that effect. Jumpstart. I, I don't think I've seen that one before. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Hitcha Recluse. 1 4 with Reach. So, not a bad defender early game. Uh, 1 4 is always pretty decent, you know, in a 2 or 3 cost. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, Spinal Centipede. When it dies, put a plus 1 counter on a target creature you control. It's 3 2 for 3. Not bad. Uh, Notion Rain. So it costs three, sorcery, surveil two, then draw two cards. Nor Notion Rain deals two damage to you. Fun. So you can surveil, you can put any number of those cards into the graveyard, and the rest on top of your library in any order. So, I mean, yeah, that's really what I want. Two damage done to me. But I suppose, it, you know, there's situations where that would be great. Uh, Gravitic Punch, Sorcery, cost four. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target player. That's kind of cool. It's almost like a fight, but you're not fighting a creature, you're fighting the player themselves. That's kind of cool, and I can see situationally that that would be pretty good, and then it also has that jumpstart thingamajig. Watcher in the Mist. It is a five cost for a three, four flying, and when it enters the battlefield, surveil too. So again, you can... Put the card either in the graveyard or back on the top of your library. I suppose Surveil is a little different than Scry, because Scry you just put on the bottom of the library. The Surveil, it seems like you just actually put those in the graveyard if you don't want them. All right, pause for reflection. It seems so calm. You see how calm this card is, Austin? Just, just want to, like, cozy up with some hot cider and sit under one of these beautiful-looking trees. All right, so pause for reflection. Three-cost instant has Convoke. Your creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting pays for one of the mana. Oh, interesting. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's good. I can see it. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Guild Summit. Cost three enchantment. When it enters, you may tap any number of untapped gates you control. Draw a card for each gate, tap this way. Whenever a gate enters the battlefield, under your control, you get to draw a card. This thing really loves gates. And let me tell you, never use them. <laughs> so, yeah, it's because they open and close. All right, Rampaging Monument. That thing looks kind of cool. It's like the Statue of Liberty come to life. All right, so it's a four cost, uh, zero, zero artifact creature. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, oh, it comes with three counters and it has trample. That's kind of cool. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, put a plus one counter on Rampaging Monument. Huh, that's a kind of decent uh, overall, kind of overall use card, like average use. All right, Creeping Chill. Four cost sorcery, deals three damage to each opponent. Each opponent, wow, and you gain three life. When it is put into your graveyard from your library, you may exile it. If you do, it deals another three damage to each opponent, and you gain three life. That is a pretty decent card. For for four, that's not bad. I mean, that's six damage at least to them, and six 
uh, life to you from your, oh, I guess, oh, no, I see. So it's not double. So it's, you either play it or if it's put in the graveyard, then you can exile it and do the effect. So either way, you get the cost. So not, not bad. All right, Trample Garden. Yay, this is what we were hoping for. So it's a green white, which none of us really use green white, unfortunately. However, this is one of the types of lands that we were hoping to get. So as Temple Garden enters the battlefield, you may pay to life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tap. So this is one of the, the, uh, the shock lands. And we were actually hoping to get one of these and we got a foil. So that is awesome. The ironic part is that none of us uses this color combination. However, you know, we do use white or green, so we may find a use for that. But uh, that is awesome. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we got that, that shark line out. And that, which, which pack was that? That was the Guilds of Ravnica. So maybe uh, get more of those. All right, so let's take a look. Oh, and we got... Uh, gate. We got... Yeah, we did get a gate, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, all right, that guy's going in the deck. <laughs> all right, so Silencia, Silencia, Guild Gate, enters tapped. Um, and it gives you white or green, and then an angel token. All right, let's take a look at this foil. So he's shiny. Look at his, look at his eyeballs and his, what is that? What's in his hand? Oh, he's got plans or something. Shiny. All right, hunted witness. When it dies, create a one-one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Oof, super exciting. Although for one cost, for a one-one at one cost, not bad. I mean, I've seen worse. So. That's cool. Uh, not too disappointed with this. Um, super excited that we got that shock land because that is that's all I wanted. So to to get one of those, totes excited, bro. All right, so I will hand it over to Austin and he will show you. So I'm gonna open the Ravnica Allegiant pack. Come on, shock land! <laughs> if I can open it. Let's crack that bad boy, Austin. Don't be afraid. Of it. <laughs> Right. Nope. Now. Okay. Got it. Got it. You need some help? <laughs> you want know, me the big strong dad to come over and help you open it? <laughs> All right. So, arrestors at admonition. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Addendum. However you say that. If you cast mm -hmm. this spell during your main phase, draw a card. Oh, hmm. that's not too bad. Three cost. Scorch mark deals. Deals two damage to target creatures. That creature would die this turn. Exile instead. I mean, not bad for two. Uh, has the officer two two when it enters battlefield. Target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Three two for three. Persistent petitioners one three. Pay one and tap it. Target player puts the top cards of their library into their graveyard. Tap four, untap advisors you control. Target player puts the top 12 cards of their library oh, into their wow. graveyard. A deck can have any number of cards named Persistent Petitioners. What the heck? For a two cost? What the <laughs> heck? I gotta show that to your mom. Uh, Target opponent sacrifices, oh wait, under cities embrace, target opponent sacrifices a creature. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you gain four life. Dude, this mill card, <laughs> this is like a sick mill card, dude. Sorry, I'm still stuck on that. But I, I've never seen uh, a condition where it said a deck can have any number of cards named that. I've That's seen something crazy. like that. All right, go ahead, sorry. Thoroform hybrid. 2-2, two, two, pay 6, adapt 4. If it has no 1-1 one, one counters on it, put 4 1-1 one, one counters on it. Huh? So it's That's, like monsters. Yeah, I mean, it makes it good both in the early mm -hmm. and the late game. Because if you get it later, then you can just do that, and it's pretty strong. Uh, oh, that looks cool. Rakdos lock it. Tap, one at, tap it, add 1 black or red to your mat pool. Pay 4 and tap it, sacrifice it, draw 2 cards. Three cost. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. It reminds me of like the Gruul Guild Gates mm -hmm. and the Mirror Guild Gate and all that. Burning Tree Vandal, 2 1 with Riot, enters the battlefield with your choice of a 1 1 counter or haste. 
Whenever it attacks, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Hmm. That's good for that's three cards. Cool. Three, seven. No, oh, that's it. Cost five for three, seven. You even say the name. Oh, yeah. Catacomb Crocodile. Catacomb? Catacomb. <laughs> Catacomb? <laughs> yeah, that's all good. Five that's for a three, seven. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. not really. Imperious. Oligarch. Oligarch. Two on with Vigilance and Afterlife 1. When it dies, put a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Not too bad. 3-3 three, three is flying. Other creatures you control is flying. Get plus 1, plus 0. Windstorm Drake. I keep forgetting to say the name. Yeah. <laughs> Got a name drop. <laughs> 5 cost. Hmm. Uh, junk Troller, 0-6 with Defender. Tap it. Put Tarp Guard from... a Card from a graveyard on the d- bottom of its owner's library. Zero six oh. for a four drop. That's okay. Ooh, this is one of those dual cards. Uh, incubation and, and incongru- incongruity. Incongruity. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Huh. Exile target creature. That creature's controller creates a 3-3 green frog lizard creature token. Hmm. Nice. Gutter bones. 2-1. Enters the battlefield tapped. Pay 2. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. Activate, it, activate this ability only during your turn and only if an opponent lost life this turn. Oh, yeah. One of the characters in the game had that. Oh, another gate. Yeah. I think it's a Ravnica thing, mm. that's why. Tap it at one green or one blue. A and treasure, a treasure token! token. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna win! <laughs> we just need nine more! <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna open the Corset 2020 booster pack. Ballas. Hopefully I can open it this time. Big ballas. <laughs> yeah, the gutter bones, one of the characters oh. in the game now. Hey, it's <laughs> Fortress Crab, 1-6. One, 1-6 six. One, six for a 4-drop. I think that's pretty good. 2-1, or Goblin Bird Grabber, 2-1. One. Pay 1, it gets flying to lend return. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. Hmm. Alright then. Aerial Assault. Assault. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy target tap creature. You gain 1 life for each creature you control is flying. So if you have like a flying deck, that's good. Convolute. Counter target spell unless the controller pays four. Dang. Dang. Sanitarium skeleton. One, two. Pay three. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, mm. I mean, keep getting back. Gift of Paradise. Enchant land. When the census battlefield gain three life. Enchant land has tap it at two mana of any one color. Dang. Solid. Phasm Fleet Cutthroat. 3-3. Three, three. When it enters battlefield, destroy target creature and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. Yeah, mm-hmm. we saw that one in the other pack. Feral Invocation. Enchantment was flash. Enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. Mm-hmm. Centaur Courser. 3-3. Three, three. Three. Mm-hmm. Exciting. <laughs> Prism- Prismite two one. Pay two. Add one mana of any color. Huh. I mean, well, I mean, it's okay. Creeping Trailblazer two two. Other elementals you control get plus one plus zero. Pay four. Creeping Trailblazer gets Trailblazer gets plus one plus one to land return for each elemental you control. I mean, it's good for an elemental deck. Thrashing Brontodon, 3 4, 1. Pay 1, sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Manifold Key, pay 1, tap it, untap another target artifact. Pay 3, and tap it, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Oh, that's not hmm. bad. Enters battlefield tapped, when it enters battlefield scry 1. Tap it, add one red or one white. Swamp, zombie, and zombie creature token. 
Well, this is the Skyland. This is under the Skyland. The Skyland. Yeah. I mean, the Skyland is cool. <laughs> Skylanders. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I like scrying. That's cool. But I also like using the land to turn it comes out. But I mean, for the red and white deck, well, we were talking about getting some other lands maybe in there. So I mean, at least the scry you can decide if you want to use that next card or not. So it's not useless. So. All right, cool. So what we'll do is we'll have your mom open the last pack, and we'll see what we get in that one. All right, now that you're home, babe, you can open the last pack for the Ravnica, and we'll hopefully, hopefully, we'll get another Shockwave. That's my, that's all I want for them, is these Shockwaves. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Did you get one? Yeah. You, you got, got the, one. The, the, green, the green wine one, yeah. Did I open the one earlier? Anyways, yeah, we already okay. put it in there. Alright, so, get? uh, red, green, rubble belt runner, can't be blocked by creature tokens, 3-3, three, three. I can't see that, it's a 3-1 cat. Mm -hmm. Caracal? Prowling Caracal, 3-1 cat for two. Wait, yeah. Uh, shimmer of possibility. A blue. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, and then on the bottom of your library, and random order. Oh, for two, and looking at four of your cards. That's not. And and you get them one into your hand. Rakdos Restabout. Roustabout. Words. <laughs> Whenever it like becomes blocked, <laughs> it deals <laughs> one Black damage. Version of Shrek. To the player or planeswalker, it's attacking. It's a 3 2 for 3. Oh, and it deals the extra damage to the player or planeswalker. So it's like a, you get an extra damage yeah. for 3. That's not too bad. Uh, steeple Creeper? It's a frog snake. <laughs> it's so gross. Uh, cost 3 green, but then for 4 and a, or 3 colorless and a blue, you can it gains flying until end of turn. It's a 4 2. Why would the lizard fly? That's my question. They jump high. It's a snake. It jumps high. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, Forest Club Locket costs three, and you can oh, it's white or black for white or black mana. Frenzied Errant, Errant, a cat beast. Riot Trample. It's a three three. It costs four. And then you can pay six for it to get plus three, plus zero, so end of turn. That's a lot. Yeah. All right. Um, Gruel Locket, three. It's a red or green. You can sacrifice it to draw two cards. Um, Wrecking Beast costs seven. It's a six, six that has Riot and Trample. So Riot is one I'm not too familiar with. It enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter or haste. Huh. Oh. That's pretty cool. Well, because you can, so it costs seven, which isn't ideal, but a six six with haste, haste and trample. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Senate Courier? Oh, sorry. Um, yawning in the video. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Senate Courier uh, costs three to blue. Uh, flying, and if you pay one and a white. Um, it gains vigilance till end of turn. It's a 1 4. Oh, 1 4 for 3. Mm -hmm. Ministrant of Obligation has afterlife 2. When this creature dies, create 2 1 1 white and black spirit creature tokens with flying. It costs 3 and it's a 2 1. Cool. It's a white and black mortify. Destroy target creature or enchantment. It's an instant. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Scrabbling calls. Claws, <laughs> the artifact, uh, tap it, target player exiles a card from their graveyard, pay one, um, sacrifice this, and exile target card from a graveyard, draw a card. It only costs one. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're exiling a specific card. Uh, green incubation druid, tap it, add one mana of any type that a that a land you control could produce. If the Incubation Druid has a 1-1 counter on it, add three mana of that type instead. 
Oh, wow. So you pay five, you can adapt three. If it has no one one counter, you put three one one counters on it. Nice. So wow. you get a counter, so you basically do the effect. You pay the five to get the three counters, and then you can add the land. That's a lot. And then the guild gate, red Arctos, and black. Guild gate. And there's black. article tax. And then you get a token. For a thopter. It's a thopter. Thopter, it's a thopter. I so, care for any of those cards. Yeah, so no shock. Shock lands, unfortunately. Or anything I can use in any of my decks. Yeah. Well, I mean, the red and black, right? Or your cards are red mostly. No, I have a red and black deck. No. Yeah. My goblin deck is red and black. But, yeah, you would want, like, the red and black. Yeah. Shock land or the check land. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... I think that the uh, thing for Sage might work out, but <laughs> who's here? Stranger danger. <laughs> All right, well, strangers are here, so we'll go ahead and end this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.